รัฐบอลไทยแคลิฟอร์เนียนะครับช่วงหลังบ้านบอลไทยนะครับเทปนี้ก็เป็นเทปที่ได้แขกรับเชิญสุดพิเศษอีกหนึ่งท่านนะครับคือกองแบบทีมชาติไทยเรามาดูเรื่องราวชีวประวัติของเขานะครับว่าเขาเริ่มเล่นฟุตบอลยังไงแล้วก็จนล่าสุดมาถึงในการรับใช้ทีมชาติที่กลับจากเวทีทัดบอลโลกเรื่องราวเขาจะเป็นยังไงก่อนอื่นผมจะบอกก่อนเลยว่าไม่ธรรมดาจริงนะครับแล้วก็วันนี้ผมไม่ได้สัมภาษณ์ในน้องฟองนะครับพูดคุยแทนเพราะว่าเขาสื่อสารด้วยสังคมแต่เราจะมีสัมภาษณ์ไทยให้ข้างล่างนะครับสำหรับแฟนที่จะฟังแล้วยังงงไม่เป็นไรดับเรียนรู้ไปด้วยกันครับคนคนนั้นก็คือกองทีมชาติไทยตัวจริงเลยนะครับมาเนโยของจะเป็นอย่างไรบทสัมภาษณ์เขาจะสนุกแค่ไหนไปติดตามเลยนะครับในช่วงหลังบ้านก่อนครับสวัสดีครับวันนี้ก็อยู่ในช่วงของหลังบ้านบอลไทยนะครับวันนี้อยู่กับแขกรับเชิญสุดพิเศษเป็นนักฟุตบอลทีมชาติไทยกองหลังของชูแบงคอกยูเนเต็ดครับอยู่กับมาเนลทอมเบียครับสวัสดีครับเรียกมาเนลทอมเบียสวัสดีครับ Let you introduce yourself Yeah here here is Manuel t o m b i a from from Germany Currently I play for Bank of United center back number four Okay First of all, I want you to tell about your story about when you come to play football. Well, I think it, it, it was a uh, like normal when you go to kindergarten or to school, play with your friends. Like outside the school, we play all day, every day, only football. Like it was always fun play play with the friends. And when I was young, I never never imagined. That I one day be the captain of the Thailand national team. So, what what is the first team that you play for? Uh, the the first team I played for is Herrenberg, where I born, and uh, the first professional team was Erster FC Nuremberg. Oh, okay. And and then you play Stuttgart, right? Yes. Uh, in the youth, I I. First, I played from under 15 to under 19 in Stuttgart. Then I moved with 18 years to to Nuremberg. Yeah. And when I was around 22, 23, I make a change to Stuttgart Kickers again to my hometown. And after that, I went to Bank of United. Why your decision is come to play in Thailand, like through Bangkok? It was like. Uh, It was it was crazy. We were in the third division in, in in Germany, and we went down to the fourth division. And I didn't find any club, any any good club. And it was like, oh, what I do now? And I'm not sure. I need also money for my family. And suddenly, I I get a contact to my current agent. And like after one week, we were in contact to Bangkok United and. After one week, I I get my new passport, oh. like my Thai passport, and then I went to Bangkok United. Oh, so you come to Bangkok United. What what do you feel about to play in Thailand? Different um, Germany or? First I had first I had no expectation about the Thai football. I don't follow anything when I was in Germany. For me, it was always like maybe when I'm 35, then I go to Thailand. But when I arrived in Thailand, I was really surprised about the the football level because here in Thailand they play very good football. So you come so far from the youth team in Germany coming to be a Thailand national team. How do you feel that you play for national team? Um, it's a it's a big honor for me to play for the Thailand national team that I can represent the country of my mother. Um, I never expect that I get Thailand national team player. I always do my best in training. I always do my best in the game. And yeah, when the Thailand national team coach like what I do, then then of course he he will invite me and he will always he always can count on me that I will give everything what I can do. When you play for Thailand national team for the first time, can you remember? I think the first time I played was against Togo with Rajevac. Ah, okay. Before, before I get uh, 
an invitation from Siko, but there I get injured, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it, it was a quite nice game. I think we won 1-0 against Togo. Yeah, in Mong Tong Stadium. Oh. So, from the first time to now, what is your experience from the Thailand national team? Um, of course, every time when it's time for the national team, I I expect that I get an invitation because now I'm I think I'm I'm in the circle of the of the best players in in Thailand, and I do always my best to to get again an invitation, and I I I I really think that I'm also like on the top four center backs in Thailand. Okay, so you come come to this position. Uh, you think one day you can play go far than now or play in some countries in not in Thailand one day? Um, in Asia, there are I think from the league quality better countries than in Thailand. Um, I'm, I'm really happy in Bangkok United. I still have contract until next year December. Um, I would be happy to continue in Bangkok United because oh. here I get I get everything. Uh, like they so respect me to, here. Yeah, so you love to play in Thailand. I, I love to play. Yeah, but I'm also like, if I get maybe the chance one day. Then it will be right, and yeah, I'm I'm open to play in another country also. So you can play in Japan, or you go back to play in Germany. It's okay. Um, I I I think my my future will be in Asia. About Germany, I don't think too much about going back to Germany. I think it's also not easy go back from from Thailand to Germany. Like I also. The comparison, like the living quality and the, like salary, I think that Thailand is better than what I could achieve in Germany. In Germany, I think I would play maybe third division or maybe second division. So I prefer Thailand. Okay, so you play for national Thailand national team. So how different of Thailand football and other country football that you you play in like World Cup qualify? Um, the biggest difference is like uh, not not everything, not every tackle is a foul. Like the the referees are really hard. I would say it's like in Europe. I would say it's like maybe in England, like really hard. We we we're not used to that level in Thailand. In Thailand, if you fall down direct a little bit, you get a foul and stuff like that. In like the World Cup qualification. Our players fell down, get no free kick. We get angry and stuff. But this is the level of international football, and I really like the international level of football. In this COVID-19 situation, what do you think about it? What it will be, in your opinion? In my opinion, like it's it's really hard for for everyone. Like like when I start with my family. We stay every day at home. We cannot go out. Then I go to training. Like we 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 don't play the games. Only training every day. Then I think about our boss. He have to pay the salaries. We don't play. And also like other families. Like not not in sport. They can do nothing. They can stay at home. Maybe they get fired. I don't know. But the situation is, is is really hard, and I hope we get over the situation of COVID really soon. So, what did you expect for next season or in the future from Sri Lanka? Next season, I expect from Bangkok United that that we win at least one title. I I don't care if it's the the league title. I hope, of course, I will do everything. Like it's the cup, league title, league cup or FA Cup is also is okay. Oh, it's also okay. Like I came here for, uh, to Bangkok United to win a title. Now I'm five years here and win nothing. And yeah, next year is uh, end of December. December is my contract finish. That's my last season from now. 
let's see what what the future brings but i will do everything that we win something so uh do you think your true bangkok is ready for a new season or something um we, we train very hard we we do a lot of tactical stuff um last season we changed the the coach to p ben and last season already he did a great job we 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 we, we learn a lot and also now in the preseason we do a lot of tactic stuff and we getting better and better and i think also we we are ready for the new season So, how about yourself? Do you have any injuries, or your body is 100% ready? Um, I got uh, the the vaccination around five days ago, oh. so still I feel a little bit dizzy or weak after training, but but it's normal and yeah. But I feel I feel uh, in shape after the quarantine. In the quarantine, I did a lot of sport and also like my fitness level is good. We do do a lot of uh, tactic stuff. Still, I'm I'm learning from Coach Ben, and I think we are on a good way. So this now you are the defender. Who do you think is the really difficult to see, like in Thai league? The the most difficult player I play against was Lukian, who played for Chamburi. Ah, Lukian. And yeah, we have many many good good strikers like Mui. I hope he get well soon. No injuries, and he's the uh, number one top striker for me. Okay, okay. Um, of course, Diogo with all his experience. Then I, I love to play with Jojo in my team. Ah, Jojo. Um, yeah, but also the the really 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 good strikers like Bank, re- really young still. Ah. But he's on, he's on a good way. And yeah, also Nelson Bonilla. Ah. He's always dangerous. But for now, in the Thai league, I think number one for me is Mui. Ah, Mui t e r s i n Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So at the end, so you say something to Thailand national team fans and true Bangkok United fans. So for the Bangkok United fans, I. I know you. You are waiting for the for the for the title, some some cup game, or for the for the Thai league. I I will promise you that this year, everyone, all the players, the staff, will do everything that we achieve something because not only the fans, also the the head of the the club really deserve a trophy. And yeah, we will do our best. And for the for the Thai fans, I have to say thank you always for your support. I know it's a tough time because we are not successful, but even now, I like the the supporters even more when it's not working good and they still support us. I I, I love you to a hundred percent. Thank you very much for coming today. ก็ขอขอบคุณมาเนียวทอมเบียด้วยนะครับที่วันนี้ให้เกียรติมาให้สัมภาษณ์กับเราก็อย่าลืมกดไลค์กดแชร์กด Subscribe ให้ช่องบอลไทยข้าวว่าหมูสำหรับวันนี้ช่วงหลังบ้านบอลไทยลาไปก่อนนะครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ